Hi everyone, welcome to online fashion class brought to you by the Inspire Design School of Fashion. On this video, I'll be showing you how to make a simple sander. Before we start, I'd like to show you some of the materials we'll be using. First and foremost, we'll be using cardboard, hammer, shoe last if you have it. If you don't, I'll show you how to get around that. Scissors, buckles, leather, and fabric. I'll be using Ankara fabric and, and denim on this particular video. So, let's get started. To make things easier and fast, um, I've cut out all the pattern, but I'll be showing you how it is done. Um, the first thing we'll do is to cut out the pattern for the sew. And we'll, the way we'll do it is to use, take a sew. This particular sew is not, is not new. I believe in recycling things. So this one is gotten from a sander that I've used and is no longer useful, but the sole is still perfect. As you can see, it is looking very, very neat. So you just cut away the, uh, what, what, uh, the attachment on top. And then place it on your cardboard flat. Make sure you are pressing hard so that every of the edge is on the paper. Then take your pencil and draw and the outline, the outline of the sole, like this. And then once this is done, pick the scissors and cut it out. And this is what we have. After cutting the exact uh, measurement, I took the scissors and cut just something less than quarter of an inch, just to make it a little bit smaller than the sole. Just something like as small as this. So when, when I place this on the sole, this is what I have. There's a little bit of space because I'll be wrapping this insole with the fabric. So the, I want there to be space so that it will not be extending outside the sole. Also, we'll be using Marco for the insole. And with the use of this cardboard cord, I've cut out the marker that I'll be using. After cutting the marker, place a spread of Ankara fabric or whatever fabric you'll be using to cover, to make the sander. Place it on the table and place this marker on it. Cut around it, leaving small edges for folding. And this is what I've done. Then we'll go to the strap. The sander will have two straps on top. One will go like this from here, and the second one here. Then the strap will go around the handle to join the the, the buckles. So for the for the one in front, you can measure. If you don't have a shoe lad, you can always use your measure around your leg. This is a size thirty eight. And if you measure from here to here, it's like four inches. So I'm going to cut six inches of strap so that there will be enough space, enough leftover to turn it under. And then for this place, I have like almost six inches. So I'm going to cut eight inches and so that I'll turn it under. And then from this place to where your uh, uh, ankle is like this, is like eight inches so i'm going to cut ten so that there will be extra for the strap that you insert inside the buckle and then like two inches for this side now we'll start cutting the strap so to cut the strap for the um i want to mix i'll be mixing um denim with ankara fabric so i'll be cutting both for the denim, because the denim will be under and the Ankara will be on top, I'll cut three inches. Three inches of denim. This three inches by eight inches for the strap at the back. Then three inches by six inches for the strap in front. like this so after cutting this you cut two of each two for the three by six then two 
So, like I said, we'll be cutting all the straps. Uh, uh, there's a, a lot we'll be cutting because for the jean uh, 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 part, we'll cut three inches by six, two. Then three inches by six, uh, by eight, also two. After cutting it like this, you fold it in the center just to get the middle. Then you fold inward towards the center like this, such that at the end of the day, what you have is one and a half, roughly one and a half inches. So for this one too, the same thing. Then for the Ankara fabric, you cut two inches by six, two, then another two inches by eight, two. That will go on top of the denim. So that is that. Also, for the long strap, I'm making use of two inches also by something like 10. But this is subject to the size of your foot because it will go around. This one will go around like this. Then you insert it in the buckle. So if you have a longer leg, you may have to cut longer than this. You just have to take the measurement. If you don't have a shoe lash, just use your leg. So two of that. And then the one that the buckle will go around also, like two, three inches, because it will be turning it. So three inches by two inches also. And this is the buckle we'll use. Afterwards, you're going to cut the leather. It's called soft leather or lining. So you cut it for the size of the denim because the denim will be on top of this leather. This is the arrangement. For the 8 inches, the denim will go on top. I'm going to gum the denim on top of this. Then the Ankara fabric that I've also ironed because I've turned it inside on both sides to form something like a bias. So I now have one inch on top of the one and a half. So this is how your strap is going to look like. Then this one, which is the longest, will be at the back, like this. Then the shorter one, also, you place your car fabric on it. Place it on the leather that you have cut. And it will be in front, like this. See, it's looking fantastic already. I can't wait to put it on. Okay? And then we'll have the strap. This strap will only be, I will only be using the Ankara fabric. I will not be using jeans because I don't want it to be too, too thick. It will also have a leather at the bottom. It will all go like this. And then the buckle will be here. That is it. Now, what we need to do is to start gumming. So, that is what we're going to do now. After making sure that all the, uh, the the sound that fit perfectly on your on your on your feet the next thing is to apply glue here i've already done that and it's already dry and then we'll couple it gently to the sole and that is the end of the sand and let's just let's just do that start with the tip then the back then gradually you do the middle and for this place because there's a lot of pressure there i would like to apply this super glue I just put small small amounts there just to make sure that there's a perfect joining So with this, I don't have to sew again. So the last thing to do is just gently, gently, just to apply pressure. And with that, our sander is ready and it's really looking nice, if I may say so myself. So this one, I've not finished it. I will do that. I would, as I've said, you can apply gum here, or you can put spin, or you can sew. Any of the three will do. And that is all. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. 
in the next video i'll be showing you how to make another kind of sander and let me tell you that there's a bag a sling bag that goes with this uh sander so if you have not registered for the bag class please do so because it will look nice with a matching bag thank you have a nice day bye so i'm applying gum to the one inch mark because we already know that this is supposed to be four inches and we cut six inches so one inch is going inside on both sides so i'm applying gum here I've applied gum on the sole, I'm waiting for it to dry and then gum on the other back strap too. Then for the in, uh, this sole, in sole, so is now dry so I can turn it in. So just create tiny notches around it to make the turning easy and smooth. So just turn, start turning it gently, make sure that it's very smooth. While we're doing this, the gum on the sole is already getting dry. You have to be very careful at this edge because it's a curve. Then take your scissors and cut the excess. Now, what we need to do is to mark where all the straps will go in. So I'm going to use this. The strap will be on this side. It's not yet dry. So I hope to have marked it first. So it will look nice here. I'm being careful of the ground. So so I'm marking where the strap will go in on both sides so that I'll know where to apply gum. Just so yeah, there's already gum on this side. So I'll just apply gum to this side. where you've marked and then put the gun here and then for the back this is where to come in also mark if you don't have the shoe last you can always make use of your leg to trace it out so it will be somewhere here eventually i will have to uh, apply gum to all this side but for now so we're going to concentrate concentrate on this one leg for this video so this is almost dry but not yet ready. We'll wait for it a little bit for it to be perfectly dry. So I've uh, top stitch all this. This is how it's going to look like. This is the back strap and then this is the front strap. Also for the sole, I've applied glue and it's now dry. So I'm going to place it on the Ankara fabric to cover it. Then apply glue on this side so that I can fold it in. Make sure that it's smooth and that there's no wrinkle on top. Yeah. So, on 
this. Let us apply them on this. So you allow it also to dry. While it's drying, you can start setting up other things. For the back strap, you can see that I've added the long strap for the buckle. I mean, for the that, that will enter the buckle and the one to uh, the buckle here. This one will come at the outside part of your leg on this side. This is that is where the buckle will be. You leave like one inch space, the space that will go under the sandal. So this will be like this, like this. So that this one can come like this and enter the buckle. This is not perfect on the leg, it will be better than this. So, what I have done is to punch a hole using my very tiny puncher. Punch a hole in the middle of the place where the buckle will be here. And then make sure the hole is torn. Bring the buckle, insert it from this side. This will go inside like this. It has to enter the hole. Yes. And then come like this. So this is how it's going to look like. Now, for this side, you can either sew it, or you can apply gum, or you can use these tiny pins to hold it together. You use your puncher to create a hole on this side, and then attach the pin to this side. I won't be able to punch the hole here, so, because it, it can only be done on solid ground, not on this table. So that's just how it is then. The, the, the strap will come in like this and enter the hole that you've already punched. So, this is how it will be. This is how the back is going to look like. Yes. And then these other strap will come in front like this. And your tether is almost ready. Now we're going to do this soon. I'll, I'll, I'm going to come into this place as soon as it's done. Then we'll do the final step. I told you about this super glue earlier on. It's, in fact, it's a lightsaber. It holds it together very well. But you have to be sure of your measurement and be ready to do a permanent this before you put it there. So I'm just going to apply a little. I've pinned it with the help of this tiny nail, just nail it to the shoe last so that to hold it together while we couple all the all the bands. I'll just put this small, just a dot, a dot is okay. Then I'll put it here that I've marked. And then stretch it over tightly okay they gone this shoeless is kind of big here so it's giving me not giving me the perfect
pin it together until I'm sure it's at the right sorry this one had to come in front 